Hi, this is Greg McCoach, editor of The Mining Speculator. I'm here today with investor relations specialist, Lauren McGaw of Raina Silver Corp. Lauren, welcome to the interview. Good to see you again, Greg. How are you doing today? Great. Right. We had a great show over the weekend at the Metals Investor Forum. Um, it was great to, to see you that you came on board and, uh, you know, knowing your dad for all these years, uh, you know, the the last name gave it away. Lauren McGaw is Peter's daughter. So <laughs> anyway, I, I, I wanted to take this interview in the direction of Medicine Springs. Obviously, Raina Silver has Gigi and Botapilas. That's very exciting. But you came on board because you went on a site visit with your dad when he was looking at the project in Nevada called Medicine Springs. And this got your attention. And now it's got my attention from what you told us on Saturday at the show. So why don't you explain to investors why you're so excited about this? So I, I grew up in a house where we were constantly talking about the, the geochem and the complicated aspects of geology. And learning about CRDs and the ways that we look for big deposits. We use the soil anomalies. We use the calcite, fugitive calcite anomalies to help us track down where we're looking for, what we're looking for, which is that high grade uh, mineralization as it were. And at Medicine Springs, my dad and I spent three days out in the field and you're looking at these jasperoid features. So these big, almost ribs of what you could think of as exhaust. Uh, so the, the big deposit or the, the intrusion, right, has mineralizing fluids. Those mineralizing fluids travel through plumbing as it were. So faults, fractures, bed lines in the rock, and essentially they fall along that. And at the very end, what's left over, what hasn't interacted with the surrounding rock uh, makes its way to the surface. Uh, and we were able to sample those because we have these beautiful trending features like these ribs of jasperoid that run uh, southwest, northeast, or northeast, southwest. And so we did a jasperoid study this last year where we took a whole bunch of samples and with geolocations, and we plotted it all out due to the anomalies that came up. And what we see is a large scale zoning. So you see the silver, lead, zinc, copper zoning, and we got really, we got, we got significant numbers. I mean, we got a thousand grams per ton silver in a jasperoid. So this is something that has traveled a great distance. This is the exhaust. This is what's left over. And we're also seeing that zoning, which allows us to target and narrow down where we want to put drilling or why we want to put a drill hole um, in this upcoming drilling season. So we get to use it as both a way to figure out, okay, our footprint is significantly large. It's uh, two and a half, three and a half kilometers, and it disappears into alluvium, which is also good because it means it might actually be bigger than that. And it gives us a general idea of, okay, we're seeing the, the, the features that we want to see for a big deposit. When you're looking at a CRD, you want to see something that's in limestone. We've got that with the Gerster formation and what's below it. Uh, you're in an area that's got intrusions that are mineral ba bearing. You've got the Ely district, you've got Elko. So we're, we're, we're in the right territory. We're seeing these multi-phase jasperoids. So it's not just a single phase we see uh, different zonations even within the jasperoids. Some of them even have five zones in them, which tells us that there's at least five instances of some kind of mineralizing fluid moving through there. So from a geology aspect, that's really exciting. And you know, this, this past week I was in Mexico with my dad in Santo Eulalia. And so you're sitting here looking at this huge district where our Gigi project is. And seeing the examples of these exhaust features at Santo Eulalia in the historic district, and you're going, okay, this is this is similar ideas and similar material that you see at Medicine Springs, but here's the historic district which produced half a billion ounces of silver. Are Gigi projects hiding underneath these pre-mineralization volcanics? Okay, half the system could still be there. 
at Medicine Springs, it's exciting because the other half isn't missing. Right, right. Yeah, no, that is exciting. And just for the viewers, you mentioned CRD, they might not know that carbonate replacement deposit. Um, that's the, the carbonate replacement systems. Dr. Peter McGaw is an expert in those. And of course, Lauren learned a lot from her father along the way related to these systems. They tend to be very big and they tend to be big tonnage, high grade, higher grade situations. And when you're talking about Medicine Springs, um, you mentioned the word exhaust. Okay, I, I want to help people understand that's the least amount of material, and you're saying you're getting a thousand grams, right? Yeah. So we had we had two samples with a thousand grams per ton, and we had thirty seven samples with sixty six grams per ton, and we're seeing that in zonation features. And we also have similar, you know, we've also got higher uh, anomalies in copper as well, and you know, you can think of this as what's left over. It's the stuff that didn't react with the limestone. It's the stuff that didn't crystallize out as you're moving, moving through the system. Um, the way I kind of like to think about it is if you've got a backpacker, right? The mineralizing fluid, when it first comes out of the intrusions, like a backpacker all loaded up. And as it's making its way to the car, it's like, oh, I don't want to be carrying this anymore. And it's totally ignoring leave no trace and dropping things off the, the side. But you know, at the very end, it's okay, all I've got left is the granola. And this is what's what's left over at the very end. It's the last thing. Uh, yeah, no, that's a great description. And if it's a thousand grams at that level, imagine the grade below that, right? So yeah, and, you know, that's that's what we get excited about. I mean, yes. no yet. There, there's the truth machines of uh drilling, as it were, but yeah. it it is exciting. It's one of the things that I really like about working with Reina. Yeah, no, it's an exciting uh, team of people, of course, you're working with. But, you know, to have three such projects, I, I think you guys have such an excellent portfolio of projects, any one of which could deliver big, big returns for investors. So I guess, you know, you're methodically going about doing so doing so gigi was really the flagship to start out and and you've moved along the road on that quite well but uh you know botapilas and now medicine springs seemed like my goodness you, you have to put money into these things right <laughs> you can't ignore them yeah and, and and i think that's the other amazing part about botapilas and santo lalia is you have these districts with such this incredible history um and, and we get to build upon that and we get to take new ideas, new ways to think about it and go, okay, you know, this is where the, the, the old timers, as it were, were focusing and we want to expand that. We want to see into like a new direction. What else is here? How can we better understand this district? And at Gigi, that's, that's really exciting, especially with the uh, intrusion, the new quartzite rhyolite that was discovered in phase one uh, drilling. First time that intrusion's ever been seen. And we got this scarring zone that was replacing, uh, not the, the carbonates, but actually replacing the intrusion. So we know that we've got a pretty active mineralizing fluid there as well. So from a geology, geochem side of things, both Medicine Springs and Santo El and Gigi are pretty exciting projects to be working with. Absolutely, and we got a minute are so left here. So why don't you explain for 2022, what, what are we doing? What's the budget? How are you going to go about these projects? So right now we've got approximately 7.5 million uh, in the bank for exploration. And we're currently having drill, drill rigs running at Botapilis uh, as part of this, the continuation of that phase one, early stage phase one, we actually ended up finding high grade silver gold. At, at Gigi, uh, we're, part, we're in the process of our phase two drilling. So we're now in the 8,000 meter program there. And at Medicine Springs, we're ramping up. We're running the end of a, a LIDAR-like survey. And we'll be combining that with the geochem, the Jasperoid study, uh, some pre-existent geophysics to get started with a, hopefully drilling in the upcoming 2022 season. Super. I can't think of a, a greater plan for the year with those three projects. That's very exciting. We're going to be watching you guys very closely. So Lauren, thanks for the interview and uh, stay in touch. Keep me posted.